All right, guys. Let me know if you guys can hear me. You guys want to chat out? If everything seems to be working right now. Hopefully it does. Awesome, there we go. All right, guys, welcome to another episode, another stream of Cooking with Coach, presented by Coach Misha Live. Today, we're going to be making some dinner tacos as well as zucchini fries, all right? So, we're going to quickly get started with the zucchini fries just because they're going to be the longest um, to basically cook. So, we're going to start off by preheating our oven to about 450-ish. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my zucchini. I'm just gonna use one zucchini for today. You guys can really make as much as you want. I'm just gonna start off by washing the zucchini, okay? Two wedges, all right. So basically, I'm just moving a little quickly here just because this is gonna take again the longest to cook in the oven. So we just want to get this out of the way, and then once we're done with it, we can just focus on the tacos themselves, all right. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna cut off the ends here. And then I'm just gonna cut it in half. And then again, in half. And then from here, I'm gonna cut these into fourths, all right? Again, you can definitely roast them however you like, but in order to make sure that the slices aren't too big, I'm gonna cut them all into fourths. Then again, basically into eighths. Perfect, so I have all of these slices right here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my sheet pan. I'm gonna throw on this aluminum foil. If you guys have a wire rack, I would recommend using it. The wire rack basically, what I'm gonna do here is, um, I'll show you guys why I prefer using the wire rack over just putting it straight on the pan itself. Basically, when I place them all on here, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Would be great if you had that aerosolized or not even aerosolized, but that spray, cooking spray. That way it can get on a very light layer on everything. But I'm gonna add just a little bit like that. And then what tends to happen, or I found, is that if you don't have a wire rack, the oil tends to pool at the bottom and it kind of makes the bottom of the zucchini fries a little bit soggy, all right? 
One rub, one seasoning that I really like for veggies is this Traeger veggie rub. I think it's the same people that make those Traeger grills. But this veggie rub has garlic, paprika, salt, sunflower oil, chili pepper, uh, onion, annatto, and stuff like that. Otherwise, you guys can totally just use salt and pepper if you want to go pretty basic. And the oil helps the seasoning stick to the zucchini fries. I'm going to throw it into my oven. My oven isn't actually done preheating, but that's fine. We can just leave it in there for a little bit extra. throw on a 20 minute timer and then once we're done with that I'm actually going to then take it out flip it and then put it back in for another 15 to 20 minutes awesome so now we have the longest part of our cooking process out of the way. Um, we're not going to collect the rest of our ingredients, right? So what we're going to need is tortillas. We're going to need our steak, or if you want to do this with chicken, totally more than welcome to do that as well. Peppers, peppers right there. Then we have our red onion, cheese, arugula, and any of these optional ingredients if you want, all right? So we'll just go ahead and grab everything. You can see for peppers, I didn't make it too specific. Um, you could really use bell peppers if you want. You can use jalapenos. What I'm gonna use is shishito peppers. So let me go ahead, shishito peppers. I find they have a, not too much of a kick to them, um, but they have a pretty good flavor and they add a good bit of texture into it. So these might be a little bit of a better option rather than bell peppers, but that's totally up to you. I have my red onion and my flank steak right here. So this is basically all we need right now. We can kind of grab everything else a little bit later, all right? So I don't really need the tortillas right now. The steak, I'm gonna let it rest. I should have been a little smarter with this. I should have let it rest at room temperature for about half an hour or so just to like get it a little bit um, warmer just to allow for the cooking process to be a little easier but I forgot about that but that should be fine what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut up my red onion and my shishito peppers so for the red onion I'm gonna use about I believe this is like a fourth of it roughly and I'm gonna cut it into uh, kind of like strips, so not dicing it or anything, just kind of strips, just like this. If we had a lot more time, then we'd be able to caramelize these. Um, yellow onions work a little bit better for caramelization, and it's not as difficult as you might think it might be. I know they always have like caramelized onions at like restaurants and stuff. Um, but they taste really good, and it's not that difficult to make them at home. So I think one day we'll definitely try to make a recipe involving caramelized onions, because they can really add a lot of flavor to any sort of dish. So I'm going to quickly rinse my shishito peppers here. to my dishes, so I might go with one more. Perfect. I 
can already start to hear the zucchini fries sizzling a little bit in the oven. So that's pretty good. Might need to check on them to make sure they don't burn or anything like that, but I don't think we'll have a problem with that. Awesome, so from here, I'm just gonna cut the tails off. Honestly, I think it just, yeah, I could just throw that off, honestly. This one's a little tail, didn't want to come off. I'm actually also gonna cut the ends off. guys aren't gonna be joining me in cooking these today what are you guys making at home feel free to type it out in the chat there what I'm gonna do from here is I'm just gonna cut these into kind of like pieces like that kind of like rings almost the seeds are gonna kind of go everywhere but Nice, there we go. Awesome, there we go, guys. That's great. Don't forget to please try to send me a picture of the recipe after you're done with it. Um, I need to start posting the recipes or posting the uh, pictures afterwards. these while I prep my steak here so I'm just gonna take a pot because I don't have another small pan or anything right now I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil if I can find out no, here we go I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here not a whole ton and I'm gonna let this heat up over medium to medium low And then once that kind of heats up, I'm gonna put all of these ingredients in there to let that just sit there for a little bit, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start prepping my steak. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically cook this as one piece and then afterwards I'm gonna slice it up like that instead of cutting up beforehand, all right? You guys can totally cut it up beforehand if you'd like, um, but I find that I don't necessarily always want like all sides of it to be um, like crisped up or, you know, like uh, have like a crust on it. So what I'm gonna do is just again, cook like a piece of it and then cut it up afterwards, all right? Alright guys, so I'm going to get some of my stuff ready here for that. Are you guys making any sort of substitutions for the ingredients or are you guys going full RX? If you want to call it that. Sure to let me know so that if anybody watches afterwards if they want any ideas for um, replacement or substitutions that could really help them out
hopefully I've cut this piece of steak right. 4.7, I think we'll deal with that. after dealing with meat products. are going to sit there for a little bit of time. What I'm also going to do here is I have my piece of steak. I'm going to flatten it out by using my uh, mallet or whatever you would call it here. So let me go ahead and mute for that so it's not too loud. a higher smell point and it doesn't add any sort of flavor to the product that you're um, cooking it with. It's not too long. Honestly, the zucchini fries take the longest of everything to cook there, but... Alright, I'm going to salt and pepper my steak. I'm not going to add too many seasonings or anything like that to it. veggies are coming along nicely. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm just going to wait for this skill to come up to temperature. 
And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the rest of my ingredients. Not really ingredients, but just parts of the meal. I'm going to add a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. As I did with the breakfast tacos um, this past Saturday or Sunday, after I'm done cooking on um, with the steak, that is, I'm going to throw the tortillas on there to heat them up and to create a little bit of texture on there. So we finally reached 20 followers, um, and that's really, really awesome. We're about two-fifths of the way now to 50 followers, which is our goal. So again, if you guys want to make sure you tell all your friends about the stream, tell your family about the stream, to tune in, they don't even have to cook along with us. About half the people or more don't usually, but that's totally fine. At least if it can inspire some people to... Um, cook more recipes instead of going out and buying food. Cooking is an essential skill that everybody needs to know how to do. Because um, again, you can't always rely on restaurants and stuff like that. These are just really fun, easy recipes. Don't take a whole lot of effort. I'm not a pro cook. I'm sure not a lot of you guys are either. You might be. But that's totally fine. One thing you can do with uh, your pan to test how hot it is is something called the water test. All right, super uh, fancy name. Basically, what you do is you run your hand for a second under some water, throw it on the pan. If it sizzles, that means that it's ready. And for me, my pan is just about ready. So I'm going to put in a little bit of avocado oil, not a whole lot, and then I'm going to throw in my piece of steak. I have just about three minutes left on my zucchini timer here, so after that's done, that'll take another 15-ish minutes to cook in the oven, and if they come out a little bit later, that's totally fine, not a big deal. up as I've said before I'm a big fan of cleaning as you go instead of having a huge pile of dishes at the end um, for me I feel accomplished if the only thing I have to clean um, at the very end is just my utensils that I uh, ate with and either the bowl or the plate that I uh, ate with as well just makes things a lot easier it doesn't make things look as daunting and help save time. We all don't have that much time. Time is a valuable resource that we always need to make use as efficiently as possible. Let me know how you guys are getting along. Let me know what step you guys are on. And again, if you're using any sort of ingredients that deviate from the recipe so that anybody who's watching and who's not cooking can maybe get a little bit of inspiration if they weren't the biggest fan of the original recipe up to six viewers that's awesome so we have at least two people cooking with us 
and hopefully another four, three, four people who are just watching, getting inspired. There's our zucchini timer. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the zucchini. They're looking real good in there. Again, I think another 15-ish minutes would be perfect. go for that. Again, yeah, don't forget to always remember to stay hydrated. Whether it's water, green tea would be awesome. I did to kind of help the steak along, um, hopefully you guys can still hear me over the fan there, I took a piece of glass um, Tupperware, I guess you would call it, um, it's one of these, it's like a, just like a glass container, and I put it on top of the steak to kind of press it down evenly to make sure that as much of the steak can get in contact with the pan make sure that it cooks nice and evenly so it doesn't kind of like curl up like this and only the bottom portion here gets cooked and the sides don't get cooked as much. Alright, we're honestly almost done. We just have a few more ingredients, um, just cooking on there, and then we're going to toast our tortillas on the pan once we're done with the steak, and then after that, just assembly. As far as hot sauce goes, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Cholula Red or the basic Cholula um, hot sauce, just the original. I find that this goes really well with it, more so than maybe the Cholula Green, although I might put that on one taco and Cholula Red on the other one. I think these are vinegar based. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like a vinegar based hot sauce and I find that that works really well. Um, to contrast all the other flavors um, or some explanation like that something like that but yeah our veggies are just about done so this is where they're at right now might be able to see that maybe not I'm just going to cook them for a little bit longer 
But honestly, I could take them off right now if I needed to. Steak is getting there, slowly but surely. I'm a real nut when it comes to checking the temperature of things. I'm always super skeptical, or not skeptical, um, but worried about undercooking food or something like that. Like For me, even though it probably sounds a bit crazy, I'd rather overcook food than undercook food, just to you know avoid food poisoning and stuff. So, I'm just gonna check the temperature. For steak, I believe the USDA recommends a minimum temperature of like 135 or something like that. So I'm just going to go right about there. We're pretty much there. I just want to sear the size just a little bit more here. I'm going to take the veggies off. And I'm gonna put them in a little bowl here. So I have one there. And then I'm going to go ahead and call the steak right now. I'm going to throw it on a plate to let it rest for a little bit. So I'm going to do now is I'm just going to lower the heat a little on that pan. And then again, I'm going to cook my, not cook, but heat my tortillas up just a little bit here. I'm actually going to mop up some of the grease and oil that's on there. Now your tortillas might get infused or imparted with a little bit of flavor from um, the pan and from the steak. That's honestly not the worst thing. That might add just like flavor, uh, good flavor to the uh, tortilla itself. All right. So we're getting close to being done. I also have my arugula in here. I'm going to put a little bit of arugula on the bottom. Not a whole ton, but just a little bit for flavor. Oh, some of the tortillas are cooking here. Being warmed pretty well right now. About about seven minutes for the zucchini fries, and that should be perfect timing for everything else. I right, just want to make sure once I see a little bit of bubbling on the tortillas, that's all I'm really looking for. So this looks really good right here. You can see a little bit of bubbling, a little bit of char, that's perfect. And my, my steak is actually um, at a good temperature right now, so I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it at an angle here. Some nice strips.
and you can see just a little bit of pink in here but nothing crazy you guys can cook to whatever temperature at your own risk I recommend the USDA's advised temperature but up to you guys So I'm going to throw it back on here, just to again have one thing I can quickly clean. This tortilla is looking great. A little bit more char on this side, but that's totally fine. So I'm going to go ahead and start plating this up. Let me just do a little bit of cleaning here. So from here guys, it is assembly time. I have my tortillas right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of arugula on here. Maybe a little bit more. From here, I'm gonna put on, you guys can kind of choose whether you want to put on the veggies or the steak. I think I'm going to put on some steak first. So I'm going to make sure that both tortillas get about an even number of pieces of steak. I mean, that's about even. I guess we can call it that. Sending this plate to the side. Then I'm going to put these veggies on. Awesome, there we have that. Then I'm gonna sprinkle this cheese right on top. I have it pretty finely grated. I'm using cheddar cheese. I don't think if I, uh, I don't think I said that outright before. Parmesan cheese would work pretty great. Um, I think really any sort of hard, semi-hard, or semi-soft cheese would work. Honestly, I think any cheese would work, but totally up to you. And then what I'm actually going to do, in order to heat up and melt the cheese a little bit, I'm actually going to take another sheet pan. I'm just going to put a little piece of aluminum foil on there, and then I'm going to throw on a 
my pieces right here. And I'm actually gonna put this in the oven just for a little bit. Just for like a minute or two, just to get all that cheese to melt. I think that'll be pretty good. And do a little bit more cleaning here. We have about 50 seconds left on our zucchini, which is perfect. One of the few times where I get the timing right. I just grabbed another plate for the zucchini fries, which are done right now. Perfect. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab those out of the oven. If I can find my oven mitt. There we go. There we have these. Those are looking pretty good. One way we can tell if they're ready or not is if we take a fork, it should easily be able to pass through. That's actually a little bit more resistance than I would have liked, but not bad at all. You can see they fall off with just barely a tap there. So I think these are fine. I think, honestly, another five minutes wouldn't do them bad, wouldn't do them harm, but it's totally cool for what we're trying to do right now. That's working a lot better. I realized the fork wasn't helping much. out of the way and we have our tortillas our dinner tacos they're warmed up a little bit cheese is melted from here so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime onto the tacos if you guys had cilantro or salsa or something like that or pico you could add it right now and then finally I'm going to Drizzle a little bit of hot sauce. I'm gonna add Cholula Green onto the left hand side here and then Cholula Original to the right. Not a whole ton, just a little bit. I don't wanna get super perked up before I go to sleep. You can see that adds some pretty great color as well to it. Missed that. There we go. Look at that color. And we have our 
zucchini fries on the side. Let me get a close-up cam here. step the most important one is the drink I'm gonna go with today it always seems like I go with it but I'm gonna go with the grapefruit citrus there we go gotta do the pour into the glass Awesome. All right, that's just about it, guys. Um, hopefully, my cam battery doesn't die right about now because that'll be uh, not exactly the best end to the stream. But thank you all for joining me. We're just under an hour and um, stayed busy during that entire time. Not really a whole lot of downtime between prepping the zucchini noodle or the not the zucchini noodles, the zucchini fries throwing them in and then preparing all the ingredients for the dinner tacos. So thank you to those of you who joined me um, in cooking along with this healthy recipe. Hopefully those of you guys that are watching that didn't make it can make it sometime in the future. Be sure to send me a picture of the finished recipe whenever you are done with it. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.